In this video, we'll be looking at how to change from exponential notation to logarithmic notation. The main thing that you need to remember is if your expression is in exponential form, written this way, y equals a to the x power, then you can change to logarithmic or logarithmic to exponential by remembering that the base of the exponential is the base of the logarithm. Also, if you'll remember that a logarithm is an exponent. So if someone asks you what is a logarithm, you can say a logarithm is an exponent. So that helps us remember then that our logarithm is equal to the exponent. The exponent on our exponential form is x, so the log is equal to x. And then our argument of our logarithm is what the exponential is equal to. So when we have y equals a to the x, we can write it as the log of y base a equals x. Now let's change to logarithmic form. We'll start with this obvious equation. We want to change it though so that it's written in logarithmic form. So the base of our exponential is 2, which means the base of our logarithm is 2. Now the base of the logarithm is a subscript, so it'll be written small and down low. We also know that a log is an exponent, so our exponent here 3 is what the log is equal to. And then our argument of our logarithm is what our exponential is equal to, so we have 8. So this is the log base 2 of 8 is 3, or you can say the log of 8 base 2 is 3. Another example, so we want to write this in logarithmic form. So the base of our exponential is one half. So the base of our logarithm is also one half. We know that our log is the exponent. So we have a negative four over here on this side. And then 16 will be our argument. Another example, the base of our exponential is 10, so the base of our logarithm is 10. We know that the log is an exponent, so 5 is our exponent, so that's what our log is equal to. And then our argument on the logarithm will be 100,000. Now let's change the other direction. We want to change to exponential form. Remember our base of our logarithm is the base of the exponential. The exponent of our exponential is going to be negative 4. And our argument of the logarithm is 1 over 81, so that's what our exponential is equal to. Another example, our base of our logarithm is 5, so the base of our exponential is also 5. The log is the exponent, so this is my exponent. And the argument is what my exponential is equal to.
And then our last example, we have the base of the logarithm is 3 fourths. A log is an exponent, so the 0 is my exponent. And that's equal to 1.